With two races in the provincial election too close to call on Monday, all eyes were on the Conexus Arts Center today as election Saskatchewan held a second count to the ballots that included some mail-in ballots. Wayne Mantica has the latest. Party scrutineers and returning officers are opening mail-in ballots constituency by constituency to add to Monday night's election vote count. Tim Williams is the provincial secretary for the NDP. Well, there's lots of coffee fueling it because it's very methodical, right? Each ballot gets opened, held up, put in a tray, opened, held up, put in a tray. And so people are, you know, uh, very focused. About 30,000 Saskatchewan residents chose to vote by mail. 20,000 ballots are being counted this week, a final 10,000 next week. Of course, what the parties are watching for is to make sure that everything is fairly done and that the counts are accurate and that uh, when a ballot is shown to us one by one, that we uh, make sure that the, what's written on there gets fairly counted for the right party. It averages out to about 500 mail-in ballots per constituency. It could make a difference in seats where the election night margin was very close. We trained very well for this election and, uh, and I think that showed across the province. Uh, so there's always challenges um, on, on the last day of voting and then when you move into some of the counting. But, but overall, things went very, very well. What happens here or during any subsequent recount won't have a bearing on who forms the next government. Only three or four constituencies were close enough on election night that mail-in ballots could make a difference. The Saskatchewan party already has enough seats guaranteed to form the next government. Wayne Manteca, CTV News, Regina.